My name is Lisa Chapman. Uh, once upon a time, I would have named myself the queen of the mess. Uh, my life was just one mess after another that usually I was the one making. I finally reached a point where I was tired of making messes. It seemed like every time I found a way to clean one up, I would just make another one or I would make that one even bigger. Um, so one night in 2008, I reached that point, bottom of the barrel I guess you could say, and I cried out to the Lord. I had been praying to Him, I had been going to church again, and I had just started my relationship with Christ, um, but I had reached that point of desperation. I needed a Savior. I needed Him to pick up those messes, and I needed Him to clean them up. So I cried out to Him, and He showed up in a big way, and He showed me some things about myself one of the things that he showed me was I had spent my entire life believing that the good things in life, the things that we consider the good life, you know, a, a happy family life, a happy home, a nice career, a nice home, a loving husband, all of those things, that's what other people got in life. That's not what I got. And I remember um, one day sitting at my mom's kitchen table and, and I told her, I don't feel like I deserve to be happy in life. And she asked me the million dollar question. She said, why? So with Christ's help through prayer, through journaling, I started seeking that answer. Why do I believe this about myself? Because I was adopted. And although my whole life I had believed that I was okay with that, that it was a good thing, that it didn't bother me, it, it did, is the enemy used that against me and he played on the adoption he said this happened to you because you're the adopted one the truth is now revealed to me through Jesus I am the adopted one I was adopted twice the second adoption happened when I was three days old and I was adopted into a wonderful family I had a wonderful childhood no regrets there and adoption is a good thing it is a blessing but my first adoption happened before I was even placed in the womb. God made me his. He claimed me as his own daughter. He protected me in the womb. She could have kept me, and I don't know what that would have resulted in. She could have aborted me. And I'm so grateful, <laughs> it sounds like such an understatement, I'm grateful she didn't choose that route. She placed me for adoption. And, and I know that adoption, when it comes down to it, it's a completely selfless act. And what Christ taught me is I am valuable in his eyes. He counts me worthy. He, he fills me with his grace. The very next day after he revealed that to me in my journaling, my daughter calls me and tells me she's expecting. So he not only restored my birthright, he increased my family. He is such an amazing God. He gives me what I don't deserve and he spares me from what I do deserve. If somebody had told me, you know, a few years ago even, that I would be saying the name Jesus without feeling uncomfortable, you know, like not feeling like I'm not worthy of saying his name, I cry out his name, I praise his name, Jesus. He's so wonderful, you know, he's, he's made me into this new being, he's, he's brought me a godly man. I never ever thought that I would be a wife of a godly man, that just, that's something other women get, and I don't deserve that, you know, that's not true. We all do, we all deserve his love and he is just pouring it out on us.